Hey everyone, how's it going? Azrin the Language Nerd here. I hope you're doing very, very well. Welcome to another episode of Easy English. Today we are at the Work Nicer co-working co space here in Calgary, and we're going to talk to my friend, Kyle, about what he thinks true happiness is. I'm going to ask him that question. We're going to listen to his reply. Afterwards, I'm going to explain some of the harder or some of the more advanced or difficult things that Kyle said. With that aside, um, let's start. So Kyle, what is true happiness? You know, I've been trying to think about this as we were setting up for this interview. I would say that true happiness is when you feel the most comfortable. And what I mean by that is that whether that's with another person or it's like just a hobby that you really like, mm -hmm. it's like you're not thinking about other things. <laughs> it's like, I'm in this, I'm in the moment. Uh, for me at least, I know that what I struggle with the most is always being like, worrying about something that's about to happen or something that happened like years ago. And I find that I'm the happiest when I'm like, I am focused, I'm like, I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now, I'm comfortable with what I'm doing right now, that I'm the most happy. So that's what, for me, what true happiness is. So do you think we shouldn't try to push past our comfort zones then? No, but I also don't think you should have to be happy all the time either. Interesting, <laughs> I, what do you mean? Well, what I mean by that, you know, it, have you seen that uh, animated film called Inside Out? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Inside Out, what I love about that movie is that its uh, main thesis, or main theme, is that sometimes it's okay to be angry, sometimes it's okay to be uh, you know, sad, sometimes it's okay to be uh, uh, envious, like all that kind of stuff. It's okay. It's just that you have to acknowledge that this that's what's happening so that you can like <laughs> uh, be able to, I don't know, deal with it in a, in a positive way. I think when you either tell kids or even adults like don't be angry or don't be sad, like that's okay. Like be in that emotion for a bit mm. and then move on from it. I think it's when we try and suppress those emotions too much that we get into trouble. I hope you like that discussion that Kyle and I had. I want to take a minute and go through some of the things that Kyle and I said in that short discussion that I think are interesting or worth talking about. The first one is that you'll notice that in that video, Kyle used the word like very frequently. And like is a word in English that we use when we're thinking about what we want to say next. Sometimes when you talk, you don't always know exactly what you want to say next. You're thinking about the next words. Like is a word that we use to give us time to think about the next word. Kyle also said something really interesting, which is what I struggle with the most is worrying about what is about to happen. Now, struggle is a, is a verb in case you don't know. It is a verb we use with anything that is really difficult or really hard to really hard to do. For example, I might say, oh man, I really struggled with my homework yesterday. This means that my homework was really difficult and it took me a lot of time and I had to put a lot of effort into that homework, into that homework assignment. So Kyle is saying that something that is very difficult for him, something that is very challenging for him, is that he always thinks about and worries about what is about to happen. In other words, he, str he struggles with worrying about what is going to happen in the future. One thing that I said in the video, which I want to talk about, is the phrase pushing past your comfort zone. This is a very useful expression. If you're pushing past your comfort zone, it means that you are doing things that make you uncomfortable. For example, if you are afraid of singing in public or singing where other people can hear you, it would be pushing past your comfort zone to sing in front of your friends. Another example or another phrase that we use that has the same meaning as pushing past your comfort zone is to go out of your comfort zone. Another interesting word that Kyle used was the word envious. His specific sentence was sometimes it's okay to be envious. Envious is just another word for jealous. It means that somebody has something, you don't have it, and therefore you feel jealous or you feel envious. You want what somebody else has that you don't have. That emotion, that feeling is being jealous 
or as Kyle said, being envious. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please tell me in the comments below and I will answer them for you. Um, I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, see you. Am I in frame, we're both in frame? We're both in frame. So you're I'm just really tall. Well, yeah, I'm really tall. I'm just always afraid that it's not in focus. <laughs> Cause I can never tell from this far back because my eyes are too bad. It looks like we're in focus, can I? Focus it, or is it as a manual? Yeah, that's what this button is right okay. there. Well, just half press it. Yeah, yeah, I think we should good. be. All right. Well, cool. we're recording. I can see that the sound is recording there. All right. For us. Well, All right. Question. Oh yeah. So, Kyle, what is true happiness? Wait, what is it? Oh, yeah. It is true happiness. Yes.